as the title suggests, is Thunderbolt 4 still worth it? I've got a solution here that I think will still keep you in Thunderbolt 4, even though we're starting to see Thunderbolt 5 come out. The Fusion Dock Max 1 is an awesome option for you to be able to connect your MacBook Pro through Thunderbolt 4, getting you up to 6K, 420 hertz, with a display port, HDMI, with up to 6K, 60 hertz support, 40 gigabit transfer speeds, allowing you to be able to sync up via USB Type-C, USB 3.0, and connect your monitors via USB Type-C. Two USB-C ports with video output support and a LAN RJ45 that supports up to 2.5 gigabits per second. And four other USB-C ports for miscellaneous accessories. You have an optical Tuslink audio and 3.5 millimeter mic and headset jack. You have a dedicated SD card, micro SD card, also with a 3.5 millimeter line out port as well. You have USB 3.2 with 10 gigahertz support. And lastly, you've got the two 6K video output ports that do support up to 40 gigabits a second. The Fusion Dock Max 1 is a beast of a dock to support your content creation, your office workflow, your gaming setup, streaming setup, or whatever it is that you use your MacBook Pro for. With that said, the folks at iVanky did provide some complimentary and sponsored this video. Let's go ahead and show you what Thunderbolt 4 is still capable of here as we ready ourselves for the next generation. This unit is hefty, it's pretty heavy here, but just know it's made of high quality, durable materials for you to be able to output up to 6K, multiple monitors for your MacBook Pro. Just as a general diagram, depending on your MacBook Pro, you may not have the quad display support. MacBook Pro M1 through M3 supports it. Two displays for your Mac Mini Pro, M1 and M2, and your older versions of MacBook Air and MacBook Pro as well. It comes with all of the different necessary components, plus plugs and adapters here, as well as obviously the Fusion Dock Max 1. Coming up close, you can see here that it's made of all aluminum design. It's very rugged and durable. I really like how it's got this chassis here that it sits through. It's got this nice ergonomic feel and blocky minimalist design. You're gonna be connecting your USB cable directly here into the dual USB cable and then your plug as well to power it. Peel off the sticker to gain access to the rest of the IO. Showing you here, you've got USB-C cables for 6K 60 Hertz, your dual HDMI. You have your 2.5 gigabits internet, USB 3.2 up to 10 gigahertz. You got your audio line, 3.5 millimeter jack, as well as a slew of other inputs on the other side, including your SD card and micro SD card, line out, audio in, audio out, USB 3.0, 10 gigabits, your power line USB, and then also ports here for your 6K on the backside as well. Here is your USB cable that's gonna connect directly to your MacBook Pro. It does need to use up two of the ports. On the other end are your 40 gigahertz plugs. Both of them need to be plugged in here as well in order to give you the optimal output. It does have a dedicated power brick, so you will need to plug that into your 120 watt wall plug. And it does come with a dedicated 8K HDMI cord that's nice to be able to have for that high definition HDR monitors. Now that we're ready, let's go ahead on location and show you at my workstation all the quad monitor display. All right, we're on location with the Fusion Dock Max 1 for my Vanky. I've got it set up here. It's got all of the ports connected. We've got four different monitors with HDMI and USB Type-C. I've got a 4K monitor here with 60 Hertz. The rest are 1080p. And then we've got our MacBook Pro M2 which is compatible with the iVanky Fusion Pro Thunderbolt 4. We're gonna go ahead and we're going to plug it in. Obviously you can't plug it into that side. We're gonna go ahead and plug it into the two dock here. It's perfectly aligned. It's gonna power it as well and it will start outputting video and we can set it up here in its dock. The first thing you have to do is you have to enable and accept and give it permissions to connect. You can see here now all four of them are displayed, connected, and being powered through the hub here from the Fusion Dock Max 1. I think that's super impressive to be able to have four screens outputted completely. From here, we can go ahead and shut the dock. It's now going to choose a main monitor. It's gonna be this one. We've got the mouse integration. I've got my keyboard and mouse completely connected. We also have our webcam that's connected on the back as well. Thunderbolt 4 is so powerful here. You can see all four of my displays are displayed here. We got the LG and the other 
their Dells. They're extending, outputting to 1080p. Each one of them is 60 hertz, except for the Ultrafine. This is a 4K. We can go ahead and arrange it now. This is gonna be the edge. This needs to be in front. Showing you here, we have so much versatility having all these displays completely connected. And then we have quite a bit of use case as well. We can go ahead and plug in our SD card. Showing you here, I've got both of my Samsung high capacity storage. I've got my SD card and micro SD card as well. All of them are displaying just fine. I've got some work I went through today, quite a bit of footage. I'm gonna go ahead and dump it here, show you the read write speeds, 60 gigabytes, 10 gigabits a second. While we're doing that, I can go ahead on, on Audacity and continue my editing. Safari, I've got my video going. I can have some of my YouTube videos going. You can see 60 gigs are moving it in seven minutes, which is pretty fast for an SD card. If I wanted to move stuff in between hard drives, we can do that as well. It's 40 gigs moving over, four minutes. That's how fast the 10 gigabit USB-C is gonna be. It's slower, obviously, because of the limitation for the SD card. But you can see how fast that is here for this device. With that said, I'm gonna go ahead and finish up this video. I've got it over here. I've got some other editing for audio on this screen. I've got my file manager, and then we've got some videos and audio that we wanna to listen to. Four screens independently powered with the Ivanki Fusion Dock Max 1. Very impressed. There's lots of versatility being able to move tons of footage, data around, while still using an older Thunderbolt 4 technology. With that said, I'm very pleased with the Ivanki Fusion Dock Max 1. I think it is a really awesome powerhouse that features Thunderbolt 4. Answering the question, yes, it is still worth it in 2025 to opt into a Thunderbolt 4 dock mount output here despite Thunderbolt 5 being out already. With that said, the folks at Ivanki did provide something complimentary and sponsor this video. Down below in the links in the description will be the product pricing and availability. Check that out here as it helps out the channel. Thanks for watching. Andy with Tech Influence will catch you in the next one. Bye.